Emma, an online safety campaigner, and you're watching the Live My Digital video series. Today's topic is the digital footprint. This video gives you an introduction to the digital footprint, how your child could use their footprint to their advantage, as well as offering tips and advice to your children on how they can protect and clean it up. When we're talking about the digital footprint, we're really talking about the trail of digital information that we leave behind us when we do anything online. When we share things, search for things, join groups or buy things. Things that we're doing online are being tracked and monitored by all sorts of people, from advertisers to future employers to insurance companies. It's hard to imagine that our children are having to get their heads around the fact that the things that they're doing online today, the silly pictures they post or any politically incorrect language that they could use, might have repercussions for them years down the line. And should they decide to apply for university one day, many universities will also research their digital footprint as part of the application process. Having a digital footprint can be a fantastic tool for your child if they want to use it to showcase their hobbies, interests and experiences. We're seeing this a lot in the employment sector, where young people are using social media to develop something attention grabbing to stand out from a crowd. So how can you help your children to be mindful about their digital footprints? Firstly, work with them to ensure that their security settings are set to a standard that you're both happy with. On social media networks, for example, in the security settings, you usually have the option to make your posts, snaps, videos, private or public. Ask them to go through their online profiles and if they stumble across content that they're not happy with, they should be able to delete it. Nothing can truly be deleted online, but at least you can make it less visible. Tagging is a way of identifying someone in a picture, a video or a comment on social media. And if someone else has tagged your child in a piece of content that they don't want to be associated with, they usually have an option to untag. And if someone's posted content of your child that you both want removed, you can also report to the social networks themselves and request that they step in to delete that content on your behalf. Sometimes you might need to contact the person who shared that content directly and ask them to delete it. It's also worth reminding your child to delete or to deactivate any unwanted accounts that they just don't use anymore. Just because they don't use it, that doesn't mean that the content will disappear. And encourage your child to get into the habit of searching for themselves regularly using popular search engines like Google just to see what other people could find out about them. I hope you found this advice useful. Remember how amazing technology is. We all have the right to enjoy using it safely and responsibly. <laughs>